the Greyhound bus stop at the at the regular bus stop, and people got off and exclaimed, the war is over, the war is over. Frances Meese vividly recalls where she stood the day she heard her husband would soon be home from the war. Ed Gerger was a 17-year-old seaman when he learned victory over Japan, or VJ Day, was declared on August 14, 1945. When I was young and stupid yet, it uh, signified that, boy, I get to get out of service now. He's the boogie woogie beautiful. 65 years later, Pacific Springs Village, the Emanuel community they call home, is honoring these men and women for their service to country. Uh, we just went into the, inside the sacred line when a mortar fire hit the, a tree and the burst sprayed me with shrapnel, lost the finger, the thumb was badly damaged, and uh, the whole front of my helmet was gone. Joe Ranney Jr. recounts his battle scars that he received while serving as an infantry rifleman in Europe. For his bravery, Joe received a Purple Heart and a Combat Infantry Medal. Being able to pick up and handle these tools of the past for Joe brings back a rush of memories of his days of basic training and his American pride. I don't feel that I really deserve any uh, special attention. We really don't. Hey, we were just doing our job. We love our country. Two or three times a month, they would assign me a jeep like that to drive about 50 miles to get to the Pentagon and back. So that was quite a ride. Dr. Tom Mia was assigned intelligence work during the end of the war. His experience was anything but typical. I was at uh, University of California, Berkeley, when Pearl Harbor was bombed. So uh, we were just, uh, shortly after that, we were, as you may or may not know, uh, we were incarcerated, yeah. you know. And uh, uh, so after about five months, I was, uh, I was able to uh, gain entrance into the University of Nebraska. Both men say the sacrifices they made six decades ago to ensure freedom need to be preserved and talked about to inspire future generations to keep the spirit of 45 alive. If I had to do it again, I'd gladly do it.